In the spiritual heart of the Islamic world, a relic resides, a forgotten deity once worshipped by the ancestors of the Prophet Muhammad himself. Before the enlightenment of Allah's final revelation, the Arabs adhered to an older pantheon, and among their pagan idols, one figure towered above all others, Hubal, the raven god. From the depths of pre-Islamic antiquity until the advent of the new faith, Hubal held the devotion of the nomadic tribes. This is the untold story of Arabia's oldest supreme deity. In the age before the coming of the final prophet, the parched lands of Arabia were a tapestry of nomadic tribes. From the coastal dwellers in the west to the wanderers of the east, a common thread bound these harsh peoples, their veneration of Hubal. Hubal was sky god and rainbringer, a divine majesty who could withhold or release the precious waters of life. Little grew or travelled in Arabia without first seeking his blessing. When conflicts inevitably erupted between the desert tribes, it was Hubal alone who held their oaths of allegiance. Warriors became his raven knights, calling his name into battle as they fought in his name. The merest disrespect toward the air snatcher meant a sentence to be plucked apart by his thundering wrath. Entire tribes went to war in his honour, each vying to be marked as Hubal's most devoted. But the true epicentre of Hubal's worship was the House of Stone, a temple complex deep in the valley of Al-Mushalal. Here, the priests and hierophants interpreted every whisper of the idol's shadowed eyes. In this sanctuary, the honouring of Arabia's supreme deity reached its fever pitch. Tribes made yearly pilgrimages bearing costly sacrificial offerings, all to remain in Hubal's favour. But the age of Hubal's predominance would not last forever, for a young Muhammad preached a new way for the Arabs, a return to the pure belief in a single, all-powerful deity. And this new faith would permanently cast aside the old raven god, fading him into the desert's breath until the very name Hubal was all but forgotten.